And there was another study that showed specifically a Parkinsonian-like symptom, another kind of worm that was exposed to glyphosate and got uh, Parkinson's-like symptoms, um, which again is a sort of neurological damage of the uh, substantia nigra of the brainstem nuclei. So I think the glyphosate, um, it shows, it's been shown in multiple studies that it ex- uh, causes glutamate, glutamate excitotoxicity. Mm-hmm. And so uh, that's a, a serious, that's actually very much connected to uh, autism as well, glutamate excitotoxicity. It means that it in- increases the, um, the glutamate receptor activity, which causes glutamate uptake into the cell, which then causes this excited, you know, excitatory response that causes oxidative damage through various, um, you know, oxidizing agents that get expressed in response to that glutamate signal. Um, and melatonin, I believe melatonin is crucial for supplying sulfate to the brain mm. so that it can clear garbage during sleep. It's quite interesting that one of the really important things that sleep does is to allow your neurons to recycle their waste materials. And so um, they need sulfate to do that. And melatonin is produced in the pineal gland in response to sunlight. And then it's packaged up with a sulfate. Each melatonin molecule gets stuck onto a sulfate and the two of them get sent out together into the cerebral spinal fluid at night while you sleep. And so the melatonin is actually delivering sulfate to the neurons, which it needs in order to digest, in order to break down the debris. It's quite interesting. Interesting. And the uh, autistic kids have a huge problem with sulfate. And I talked about that a lot in my book. I think the sulfate dysfunction, you know, the dis. Uh, Disruption of the sulfate system is the way I should say it uh, in the body is a major driver behind many of these neurodegenerative diseases and neurological diseases. Absolutely. And that's, again, been shown in studies, and that's been shown in studies with uh, pregnant uh, rats, where you expose the rat to glyphosate during pregnancy, and then you look at the offspring, and you can see that it's disrupted the thyroid system, the thyroid hormone in the offspring. Of course, this thyroid hormone comes out of the shikimate pathway, so you're going to have a deficiency in the hormone right there. And, and, and thyroid deficiency in the mother is linked to a fourfold increased risk of autism in the child. That's in humans. So if a mother has thyroid deficiency, she has a much greater increased risk of producing an autistic child. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.